and I don't know why all this is washing over me so bad. Um, and here I am crying in a cleaning video, like this is ridiculous. Um, Before the curls wake up, I'm wanting to accomplish one like cleaning decluttering project and that is my nightstand. So I mentioned this and I'll explain more in the voiceover later on as I'm cleaning, but we are kind of moving things around and this is going to be Dean and I's bedroom. If you have seen other videos, you know this was our guest room and then previously our bedroom, but life's changed, <laughs> suffice it to say. So this is gonna be our room now. So instead of storing like toys and things in this nightstand, it's gonna be my actual nightstand again. So let's do some organization of this really quick. Hey girl, hey, we are jumping right into the cleaning, organizing, and decluttering in today's video. This is kind of part one of my extreme organize and declutter with me series that I'm starting. So lots of projects. I've kind of been sharing little snippets here and there over on Instagram. And yes, I did film this. I had some DMs over there like, are you filming this? Please tell me you are filming all of the decluttering. Yes, it is here and is going to be coming in stages. So like today, it is as much as I can get done today. So you know what? That ended up being 32 minutes. I was hopeful to come back and you kind of see some of that at the end of the video and get some more work done. But we ended up having to help family move and everything so the day ended when the video ended basically of getting anything done here so that's what the day is looking like but let's jump back into it and I will kind of talk through a little bit of the process because I know you guys enjoy hearing about like wait what are you doing how are you moving things around and so curious minds want to know so we'll chat about that in just a second Also wanted to share if you are facing a giant decluttering project like this one or if you're kind of in the middle of something and you're just like I don't even know what to do next and you're feeling overwhelmed start with something small start with a nightstand or a drawer in your dresser just a single drawer not the whole dresser just the drawer or the top of the dresser just start with one little project it doesn't even have to be an entire project start small and once you get some wind in your sails you'll want to keep going So for you guys, it's been no time at all. You think I'm still cleaning, same room, same lighting, same everything, seems the same. Okay, it has been a little over an hour and a half and the girls have been fed breakfast and they're in the living room watching Paw Patrol right now. I know, realistic motherhood. They're watching TV, oh my God. Um, but <laughs> that's what they're doing right now. I have about an hour before I need to have, uh, leave the house to run some errands. I'm meeting my grandparents for lunch. Today's my grandmother's birthday. So we're gonna have lunch with them. Um, so they're gonna do all of that stuff and hopefully I can get back and do like nap time for the girls. And while they're doing nap time, quiet time, I can get some more stuff done. But two things that I wanted to share while I am like getting ready to kind of do a little bit of a decluttering session. And also just a couple of things that I've started doing as I'm cleaning. And, and this may seem like no brainer to some of you and it may be just, I should win a Nobel Peace Prize for suggesting this. Um, so depending on which camp you fall in, who knows. But for me, I've been keeping a trash bag today. It's a grocery bag because I'm completely out of trash bags. I need to go to Costco to get those. So that's what, one of the things we're going to do later, but keeping a trash bag with me. So trash can immediately go in it. I don't have to put a pile and I don't have to look for a trash can. Like in my bedroom here, I don't have a trash can in here. Um, and so that way I'm not having to run back and forth to another room and then get distracted and see something else I need to work on. And because I don't know anymore, I feel like I'm a little, 
like scatterbrained or ADD. I don't know how to label it, but I guess becoming a mother has just made my brain spaghetti. But another thing that I like to do is keep a reusable shopping bag with me. So for me, the best place in my area to drop off donations is Goodwill. So that's where I end up taking mine. And for all of the ones that are like in my area at all to donate there, um, they don't want you to just like leave it in the garbage bag. They make you take it out and like sort it into the appropriate bin. Um, so like clothing goes in one, houseware goes in another, Another, toys goes in another like that sort of thing so there's no point in me putting it in a garbage bag which is what I used to drop it off I was wasting garbage bags which was wasting money so now I'm just throwing it all into a reusable tote bag and then I can get it out there and then um, so depending on where you donate that may look a little different but if you have somewhere that's like that no point in wasting garbage bags just use this um, like a reusable shopping bag so with that being said, I'm going to try to declutter some of this, maybe even move into the closet, have some stuff here on the floor that I need to go through. So let's get to work. I apologize for the blurry footage here. I don't know what my camera was trying to do or trying to focus on, but it was clearly not doing a good job at, well, any of that. Um, it does come back into focus here in a second. I promise I'm so, so sorry. I've not ever really had it do that for that long um, in clips. So that's very strange to me. But that being said, I did want to kind of share a little bit of an overview of like kind of what the projects are coming up. So Dean and I had been staying in our house here that we, we ha actually house share with my parents. And so we had been living and like staying in the like loft area basically for a couple of years. I've shared that in cleaning videos and things like that in the past. You've seen the room, you've seen me clean it and organize it multiple times. And so it really wasn't a dedicated bedroom it was just kind of open to the rest of the house but it was our room so that was kind of our lifestyle for the last like two or so years but now this actually used to be our bedroom and we are moving back in here we had converted it to a guest room because we were having a different family come and visit with us and just different situations I'm not going to get it all into it um, but with like having family visit and need to stay slash live here for a bit and everything um, that has just kind of changed a bit and so we are now moving back into this room suffice it to say and the upstairs area that used to be that is going to continue it was part room part office so it's going to be our office and ours dedicated like playroom which is going to be so helpful for me when I am needing to work my computer was upstairs and the girls would want to play downstairs in the living room and so I would have to like set up a monitor and run up and down the stairs all day like going to check on them also we're moving into the closet now so if you wanted to see that if you're cleaning along with me yep that's the closet that I'm dealing with love that for me but you know what we're making progress it's okay it is what it is and we're dealing with it now but thankfully a lot of this stuff is going to fly and I am really really excited about getting my home back but I'm very excited also about having a dedicated play space for the girls that's in the same room that I am we have been working on that so you'll see all of that in videos to come and filming the whole process but it has already made my life like working from home so much easier so if any of you are a little like work from home mamas and you are like working in a different space than your kids and you like I have little kids especially and you need to watch them highly recommend figuring out some way that that can kind of go on in the same space if possible i know everybody's kind of work situation is a little bit different but if you are working from home and you need to keep an eye on your kids so they're not running into every other room and getting into god knows what while you're trying to get things done then I highly recommend maybe looking into that or exploring those options in your home I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away. So it's things like this. I bought these on clearance to use and I just haven't. Um, and so I'm just going to donate them 
let them move on to someone who will actually get them out of the box and use them because I've had these for like four years. I had plans for them when I bought them, I promise, but plans changed. So here they are, still in the box. Dealing with emotions, but I want you to know that you'll always be on my mind, even in the hard times. I care about you. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about just want to love you a little bit more don't just walk away from me and close the door baby pull me closer now before it's over i just want to love you a little bit more oh. and since i have had a few people ask like what do you do with the nice things that you like don't want to like necessarily donate but you do like want to sell of the girls or travel things or whatever I actually have been listing some of those things on Poshmark so if you follow me over there you may have seen some of that but if you are interested in checking that out I will have my link to my Poshmark down below um, and you can check that out so one person's they don't need it anymore is another person's treasure and perks of being an influencer I end up with a lot of like baby things and baby gear so if you're in the market for that and you've ever been like curious of buying pre-loved stuff or something Thing, then I will have that linked below if you're interested. Okay, so I feel like I'm making pretty... <laughs> Bella's making noises. <laughs> Um, but I feel like I'm making pretty good progress here in this closet. I've got these shelves cleaned off. These are like a lot of our books and things. And then that whole corner is empty. Our like baby bassinet for the stroller. That portion was down there. The girls are way past that. I don't even know why I still have it. Should probably sell it. Um, but I just, I don't know. I figured I may should keep it. And like once we're ready to sell the stroller, like sell it all together. I don't know. I, I can't decide um, but I feel good about the progress that I'm making I do need to clean out the stressor so I'm hoping when we get back I can work on that um, after lunch because I need to run and start like making those errands have some stuff already in that bag I have two Walmart bags full of garbage already that just stuff that just needs to go and while a lot of this looks overwhelming I know like a lot of where I'm going to put things and organize things so it's not overwhelming me Mommy, right now Yes, Mia? Are you ready to go eat lunch? Run some, run some errands? Okay, well, we're gonna go do that and Mommy, I... Mommy, Rattle, rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle, Yeah. Rattle, rattle. Oh my goodness, it is too rattle, early to be running. Okay, all right, we got stuff to do, let's keep going. Again, no time has passed for you. And we're back. Um, it is way later than I had hoped. Lunch was so, so incredibly slow. Um, like we went to a restaurant we have not been to in years here in town and I swear I won't go back. Like it smelled so bad in there and now I smell so bad. And I'm like, I just kinda wanna go take a shower cause there's that the girls were just like losing their minds because everything was taking so incredibly long um so they were just like over it and we were we didn't have our food yet um it was yeah so needless to say after all of that my anxiety is like notched out and i my motivation is gone um i don't want to do any of this so just being real here um I just, I just want to go sit in the shower and honestly cry. Like I'm not just sharing what I'm feeling. You are just my venting friend right now. Um, 
and I don't know why all this is washing over me so bad. Um, and here I am crying in a cleaning video, like this is ridiculous. Um, but okay, just feeling a little overwhelmed. Um, I'm very still excited about my project. I know what I need to do and I'm just gonna have to throw my headphones in, put on like a cleaning video or like something motivating or some like music to get me pumping, something. I'm gonna put on something motivating because Lord knows I need it right now. Um, and try to get this done because once they wake up eventually, um, this just kind of pushes our our day later, but once they wake up from, or Bella wakes up from her nap, I need to make that Costco run. And I have a few other errands that I didn't get to run. I went to the bank um, while I was out. I went to the post office, dropped off some Poshmark packages, things like that, but I still have more I need to do. Um, I need to go to the UPS store, pick up some packages there at my mailbox. Um, I don't know, I just, you'll see everything. I don't have to give you a rundown now, but needless to say, there's still a lot to do. So with that being said, I'm gonna throw on my headphones to get to work. So let's tackle some more, please. One thing I will share is I am sharing actually a Costco, like we'll be kind of running errands and I'll share a Costco haul at the end of this video, kind of shop with me, little mini section there. But I did want to mention if you are going to shop at Costco, while I absolutely love it and I personally do shop there for certain things, I don't shop there for everything because buying so much stuff in bulk, you also have to remember where you're going to store the extra things when you purchase them in bulk. So with that being said, it might not be the best fit to purchase everything as well. Yes, it does save you a bit of money to buy like more in bulk and things like that, especially for products that don't expire or have a longer shelf life. That's great, but you do need to remember that because it also saving money can come at the price of stress and anxiety of having to store this extra stuff. And if these items don't have a true home in your home, then it's just going to feel more like clutter and less like saving money. So if that's going to overwhelm you, that might be something that you want to consider not doing is shopping at Costco or um, at least being a little more mindful of the amount of things that you want to purchase there. Like for me, I will hands down always get my paper towels, my toilet paper and like paper goods, that sort of thing. And then also like trash bags there, but it might not be the best fit for me to buy tampons there. And I'm like, gosh, I don't want to store all of these. I'd rather just have them like stored in my bathroom. So it's a little thing like, but right now I'm having to store them in the closet. Once they have all been used, I won't be buying them there anymore. And I'll just stick to buying them at Walmart or Target and buying as needed sort of situation. So just wanted to share that is yes, it can save you money, but if it's causing mental stress and mental cl clutter, then it's not worth the savings. Without you, baby, without you. Sometimes I forget to breathe. 
another thing to work on moving forward because decluttering isn't going to just fix all of the problems and while I am not going to stop shopping and buying things and bringing things in I am being more mindful and purposeful with what I am trying to purchase now that doesn't make me perfect at it and I'm sure you'll see some hauls where it's like yeah you probably shouldn't have bought that but I am trying and just working on the best I can and so just wanted to share that and be transparent as you know, the shopping may not end and you may not completely cut everything off, but you can also become more mindful. And I feel like this is helping me do that and seeing where, okay, this is not going to have a home. I'm going to have to declutter something to give this a home in my home. I hope that makes sense. But that is kind of the new mindset that I'm going with. Okay. Status update. I really need to take this down. Like I've not touched that in years. Like it's just like leggings, like not like at leggings I actually wear clearly because I've not touched it in years then I don't know why it's still hanging here um, but it's like like undergarment like oh, what are they're called like huddle dud leggings things like that and it does not get cold enough to warrant having all of that so I'm just gonna take that whole thing down and it's just probably gonna I don't know we'll see something's gonna happen to all that but I got this car part cleaned out I will probably move the books upstairs to a bookshelf once I get that cleaned off so it's like a whole process of like moving everything around and organizing here but I've got the whole corner cleaned out I've got this shelf that's empty I've got this is where I'm starting to put like some of my little bag sets for organizing my diaper bags since right now that's that is my life I don't use purses I use diaper bags or little diaper bags or some sort of bag for a mommy and then these are just like overstock backstock of um, feminine products bathroom products like when I buy my makeup remover wipes from Target stuff or not Target but um, Costco things like that stuff I cut Dean's hair with yes I cut Dean's hair um, but <laughs> he likes it so there you go and then on this side that is actually a dress from when I was a little girl um, so that's like not going anywhere um, for the foreseeable future but we have that and then I've got all this cleaned out so I can actually start moving my clothes down here which I'm really excited about I need to get this stuff down we have this like secondary pack and play which I need to like post or sell like or donate or do something with because we just really don't need two pack and plays because Lucy is beyond a pack and play now um, and then I have like some cake stuff in here that needs to probably go into the laundry room so move that in there and then just like some other bag stuff my other doonies so once that like stuff moves out then my bags that my my backpacks my diaper bags things like that can go up there on that shelf so that'll be nice and then I have like pillows and curtains that I'm gonna get rid of um, so we'll see what happens with all that stuff but this stuff on the top needs to come down so other than the bags that whole shelf's gonna get clean too so let's keep going <laughs> Trip, it's a free fall. Why don't you help me the way I help you? You don't have to save me, just be my parachute. When I'm feeling down, you're just not there, making sure I'm okay. Why don't you help me the way I help you? on a roll with the decluttering and tips for this but another kind of mantra or like thing that you can remember when you are working on decluttering or buying new things is if it doesn't have a home in my home then it doesn't belong in my home so I know that one's a little deep there but it is really been helpful of like okay everything needs a place like that everything needs a purpose and a spot in the home or it just feels cluttered and that also makes it easier to clean up when you know where things go that's what always gets me into trouble is especially when it's like random stuff because then you end up with junk drawers and things that are just absolutely overwhelming spaces or like me this closet it really like it had stuff in it and it was somewhat organized but it wasn't true 
truly organized. And so now it is feeling like, okay, everything has a home and it's not just like piles in the corner or putting something in a drawer and everything. And it just feels a little bit more organized and a little bit more on purpose. And it has a home, which is always nice because then when you pick it up, you know, oh, I know exactly where to put that and it makes it a lot easier. And then it's just breaking the habit of laying it down and saying, oh, I'll do it later and focusing on working on building the habit of, I'm going to put this away right now. This is kind of my the bottom drawer in my nightstand. I'm making it like my diaper changing, like a diaper bag restock. So like any back stock of like you buy a thing and it like has multiple stuff in it or whatever. So this is all of my like back stock of like multiple products. So I can just like sit down here and then restock anything that I need to. Got disposable bibs, placemats, things like that. So all the little goodies that go in my diaper bag, I'll be able to store in there, which is really nice. And this bag or this drawer bag <laughs> drawer is still actually empty. So that's pretty good coming along. The closet looks great. I still have some stuff to do here. We're, we're still working, um, but we're making progress. Some of this stuff I need to like sort through. I have like travel toys that I need to put in a bin. Um, those will go upstairs in their new like play area of, it's gonna be like playroom slash office all in one. So that'll be good, but I need to move those up there. Reusable shopping bags. I have these little dividers that go in the shelf. You can see one right there um, And I'd love to put them like in between my bags to like hold them up and everything because I had them up there for like sweaters and stuff before So that's kind of my idea with that. I still need to get those boxes down But I'm not attempting that until Dean is here and can like get them down for me because they're actually kind of heavy And I don't want them like falling on me um, so with that being said it is three o'clock. I need to run errands. We're gonna hopefully meet Dean at, um, he gets off around four. And so our like Costco is about 45 minutes away. So I'm probably gonna have to like wake Bella up, which I hate because she's only had like an hour and a half nap, which is not great for her. Um, so I'm gonna have to wake her up so we can go and run errands and get that done. Um, I've got to return a couple things. I still need to go to the UPS store all that stuff. We're going to get pizza at Costco for dinner. So Friday night, fun night um, there, but I'm going to have to stop off this, which means when we get home, I'm going to have to finish this because that's our bed and I don't want to sleep on the couch. So still lots to do, but let's go to Costco. Okay. This is a terrible angle, but I know my kitchen needs to be clean. You see all the junk on the shelf and everything on the counter, but okay, baby. Um, I am packing up these little guys for the girls in the car because I need something. They're not been in great mood, so I need something to keep them occupied while we're gone. So I'm gonna do each one of them. One of these little water books, and hopefully we will at least keep them occupied for a little bit of while. It's really it? early. Yeah. Um, while we are. Is that a crab? Yeah, these two we're gonna take, I'm gonna put them in a diaper bag and we'll get them out when we get in the car, okay? okay. So, hopefully this will keep them occupied for a minute or two. I did a 
it. I don't think we've bought it yet, but we can use some of your birthday money on it. Yo, Daddy. Bow. It's not Bell. That's what she wanted. That's what she yeah. said. She's like, Bell. It's Bell and it has a teacup. Yeah. yeah and it's Mrs. Mrs. Potts. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, it's Pascal. You like Pascal, don't yeah. you? Yeah. You got the same old thoughts be my and I've not done one of these on my channel, but I'm considering doing a Q&A, like a laundry chat. I've seen Jessica Ron, I follow her, and she's been doing chores and chats. And I think that sounds kind of cool. And I may do like a laundry chat or maybe a chores and chats and just kind of do things and answer questions. So if you have any questions you would like me to answer, use the hashtag Q and the like word and Q A N D A. So two A's there at the end. Um, use that and then add in any questions that you have that you would like to see me answer in a video like that. Look you, got pixie dusted roses. It's like my signature. <laughs> We're not quite out of diapers, but I went ahead and grabbed a box of those because they're 10.50 off right now and it won't be long, like a week or so and we'll be out and that way it'll save me a trip of having to come back. And then the wipes, we use the Kirkland wipes and they're like $4 off right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get another box of those too because I'm like, I'm here making the trip. It's like 45 minutes for me to come to Costco so it's not like I can just pop in um, really conveniently and I don't wanna just be running back and forth on the road all the time. I do not have time for that. Um, like most of us, like you don't have time to spend an hour and a half in the car to like go get stuff. Um, so that's one of the things I'm doing is picking up just some basics um, that turn into like almost a cartload. But it's all like stuff that we need that we'll eat and do. <laughs> it's, I always hate coming to Costco, especially when it comes to the checkout time. But let's get checked out and go get some pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Thank you so much for coming along for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Got some cleaning motivation, organization motivation, and the works, and you're ready to tackle your own to-do list. Thank you again for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to click the thumbs up button below, the red subscribe button. If you are new, let's be cleaning besties, and I will see you guys right back here in my next one. Bye!